welcome everyone. I will be giving a presentation on our city forest, who we are, what we do, and what is urban forestry. So we are a 501c3 nonprofit founded in 1994 by Rhonda Berry, who is depicted on the left of my screen. Um, our goal is to protect and enhance urban, the urban forest of Santa Clara County. We want to mobilize our community to care for and maintain our urban ecosystem. And we provide planting and education services to San Jose residents. So we are the leading urban forestry nonprofit in San Jose. This is a graphic that depicts the number of trees we've planted from 1994. Um, unfortunately, it ends in 2014. Um, we haven't updated it, but we have planted thousands of more trees since 2014. I just like to include this graphic to show you the impact that our organization truly has in the San Jose area. It's really amazing when you get an aerial view of the number of trees that we actually plant. So our city forest today, we've <clears throat> planted over 90,000 trees and understory plants throughout Santa Clara County. We've received over 100,000 volunteers at 2,000 plus events. Um, our trees have a 93% or higher survival rate, which is really good for urban trees. Um, and we've planted over 8,000 shade trees at 200 different schools and 400 different parks. So a little background on urban forestry. When we talk about an urban forest, we mean the trees and understory that make up the shrubbery in a city area. So San Jose has its own urban forest, which is what we as an organization are committed to protecting. Um, unfortunately, San, Jose, San Jose's urban forest does have several factors that are um, impacting its urban forest. Um, one of the big ones is the in increasing population size. So in this graphic, you can see that from 1960 up until 2012, we've had a serious increase in the number of people who have moved to San Jose. Um, this is causing a strain on our natural resources as our city just keeps expanding outwards into these rural areas. And it's also causing higher levels of carbon dioxide, um, which in turn is exacerbating our urban heat island effect. So currently, San Jose is anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees hotter than the surrounding rural areas. And this is because of the materials that we use to build cities. These materials such as asphalt and concrete typically absorb sunlight and release it back as heat into the atmosphere, whereas rural areas filled with trees, forests, things like that, um, absorb sunlight, process it, and release it into the atmosphere through transpiration. So they're actually cooling down the air temperature. Um, so this is why it's so important that we take care of our urban ecosystem, because we need trees and these other understory plants to help us keep our atmosphere colder in the city. Some other benefits of some urban trees is that they combat climate change, um, they help clean our air. We're currently experiencing some pretty bad smoke. They're going to help take in those pollutants, process it, clean it, and release out oxygen. Um, they capture rainwater and city stormwater, and they actually increase property value. So um, businesses and residential properties that have trees will um, have a higher property value than those without. And they also improve our mental health. So it's a lot nicer to walk down a street with trees than one without. So some of the programs we have at our city forest include our community nursery and training center, where we grow all of our trees and shrubs. We have our community planting and trees for all program where we develop community planting events as well as provide residents individual trees for their properties in Santa Clara County. Um, we have our lawn busters program where we convert lawns into drought tolerant gardens. We have our tree care and maintenance group where we take care of the trees that we have already established in San Jose 
as well as educate citizens on proper tree care practices. And lastly, we have our outreach and education sector in which we um, like to participate at events such as this um, in order to share our services and provide people our oper volunteer opportunities. So how can you get involved? Um, you can contact us to work with one of our programs. You can email me at outreach at rcityforest.org and I can connect you through to our other programs. Visit our website or call us. Um, you can volunteer with us. You can donate to help keep our community green. And lastly, check out our calendar, which is posted on our website. Um, it contains all of our events that we will be having, as well as any of our volunteer opportunities. I want to say thank you to the Santa Clara Valley Audubon Society for hosting us, and I hope to see you all out there in the field with us.